Today's episode, we compare miniature schnauzer with Yorkshire terrier and look at their differences and similarities. So let's start with coat and grooming difference. The miniature schnauzer requires a lot of grooming. The coat of the schnauzer is hard and wiry. Yorkies can grow a very long coat. That will be smooth, silky and straight if left unclipped. The miniature schnauzers needs to be brushed one or two times per week. As with many wire hair dog breeds, the coat of the schnauzers require hand stripping two to four times per year. Hand stripping can be done when the schnauzers get his coat shaved. And the Yorkshire Terrier coat needs almost as much care and maintenance as human hair because their hair is so similar to. Number 2. Appearance Difference Small dogs like Yorkies are usually fully ground at around 1 year of age. You can expect your Yorkie to reach anywhere between 6 to 9 inches tall by their first birthday. According to breed standard, Yorkshire Terrier should be no more than 7 pounds in weight. On the other hand, the miniature schnauzer stands about 12 to 14 inches tall and weighs between 13 to 15 pounds. Number 3. Personality Difference Yorkshire Terrier and Miniature Schnauzer are small, friendly, alert and protective of their pack. The Miniature Schnauzers have hung on their protective nature from when they were originally bred as a gold dog. They act as a great gold dog and will stand watch for their humans while remaining a playful dog. They love to run and play, making them great for families with kids or for those who are interested in having an energetic companion that loves to take long walks. And the Yorkshire Terrier can be stubborn and spunky. If your Yorkie does not want to follow your commands, believe us, they will let you know. While a Yorkie's spunkiness is usually fun and harmless, they can be aggressive to other small dogs, especially if they feel threatening or uncomfortable. Yorkshire Terrier also tend to be vocal dogs. They have a natural inclination to barking, which makes them a great watch dog, but might be little bother someone if you are looking for some peace and quiet. Number 4. Which breed is good for your family and kids? Yorkies are not always the best fit for a household with small children, because Yorkies are so small, and the unpredictable nature of young children can put them in danger. Plus, Yorkies can be feisty. And if they feel threatening, they won't hesitate to nip, which is not safe for young kids. If you want to add a Yorkie to your family, you may want to wait until your children are around 10 years old. On the other hand, the miniature schnauzers are great family pets. They are friendly, can be trained to be very obedient, and are small enough that they won't cause too much damage before you train them not to jump too much. They are very affectionate and love to be involved with the pack, so they will run around your feet and stick close by their humans, which makes them a great family dog that are good with kids who also loves to be affectionate. Number 5. Intelligence and Trainability Miniature Schnauzers and Yorkies are extremely intelligent and eager to please, which makes them the perfect candidates for training. However, Miniature Schnauzer intelligence means these pups will know how to use their smarts to get the best of their humans. It may be fun at first to have a dog outsmart you, but you will need to play with training techniques to get the dog fully trained. You should socialize your Miniature Schnauzer early in life or soon after adoption, so they can get used to a variety of sounds and smells. And the Yorkshire Terrier need consistent training to help excessive barking and aggression toward other dogs. Best training techniques to use with your Yorkie is positive reinforcement, challenging technique and focus on socialization. Number 6. Healthy Shoes Both miniature schnauzers and Yorkies are pretty healthy breed. Yorkies are such a small dog. They are also more fragile than larger dogs. This puts the matter increased risk for injuries from things like falls. Yorkies are also known to have a sensitive digestive system and can be prone to vomiting and diarrhea. And some other common health issues on Yorkshire Terrier is cataracts, laxating patella and eye issue. And the miniature schnauzers prone to cataracts, urinary stones and liver shunts. Number 8. Ideal Environment for Miniature Schnauzer and Yorkshire Terrier 
Your keys are small, so they don't need to be ton of space. If your living space is on the smaller side, a Yorkie will have no problem making themselves at home in smaller quarters. However, if you live in an apartment and have a neighbors that share walls, a Yorkshire Terrier excessive barking could be an issue. And the miniature schnauzer size makes them highly adaptable to an array of environment. They are small enough to be good apartment dogs, but also love to run and play, making large spaces a great option too. They were originally bred to be farm girl dog, so they do well in open spaces while still happy to spend some time indoors guarding by the window. If you don't have much outdoor room, be sure to give your miniature schnauzer long walk to help them get out their energy. Number 8. Lifespan Difference Smaller dogs typically live longer than larger dogs and the Yorkshire Terrier is no exception. Yorkies an average lifespan is 11 to 15 years and the miniature schnauzer lives an average 12 to 14 years.